spectacular Museum of the Moon has arrived at Kensington and Chelsea Festival. We spoke to artist Luke Jerram. The reason I made this artwork was because I'm, I'm passionate about both the science of the moon and astronomy, but also I'm interested in the art of the moon as well. Humanity has been staring at the moon for 200,000 years. It's always been a destination for humanity, somewhere to aspire to visit one day. The artwork comes with a composition, a surround sound composition by a composer called Dan Jones, who I've worked with for many years. But, and he's uh, won a BAFTA and a couple of Ivor Novello Awards as well. And, and for me, the, the, the music is a way of connecting the sculpture with the architecture of the space. So the music can help kind of create an installation, it can help fill the space and create an atmosphere for the interpretation of the sculpture. I mean, I think it's very cool. Obviously, like, people like it because, I mean, like, there is a lot of people trying to take pictures. And it reminds me of the Gaia, like it was not so long ago, I think, in the, in the, um, somewhere in Granite. And I don't know, it's, it's very nice. I, I like it. So this artist, um, Gaia, in, Salisbury in Bristol and it was amazing so I thought it'd be a really good idea to come down and see this and it's yeah it's really cool especially with the live soundscape they did as well like that was pretty amazing yeah I just think it's really cool I think it would look really good at night time when everything's lit up we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things not because they are easy but because they are hard for more information, visit kcfestival.co.uk.